Okay, hello and welcome. I'm going to put this in place and hopefully it's in a good spot there. Uh, hopefully, ooh, pull it down just a little. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Um, hello. This is your daily vlog with me, my Argonauts. I'm not really my Argonauts. I'm really Jason and I have Argonauts. So you are my Argonauts, really. Um... Let's see. I didn't do a vlog yesterday. It was my first day after I started this everyday thing to miss, and it's because I had a really long day. I got up at about 5.30 in the morning to leave my house just before 7.30 to drive a couple hours um, to get to my former junior high school back in Shimane Ken. Um, and I got there about 9.30, and uh, the ceremony, I went to their graduation, Sotsugyoishiki in Japanese, and uh, uh, I got there about 9, no, a little after 9.30, um, and I was wearing a suit. Um, a lot of times what you'll find at Japanese graduations is the people in charge of the students will wear a white tie on a white shirt with, you know, usually a black suit for men. Um, it kind of signifies that they're a part of the, you know, the graduation process. Um, as an ALT, I never did that because I wasn't a homeroom teacher. Um, I wasn't directly responsible for any of the students. Um, but, uh... Yeah, and so other, other you know, like if you're a Ninensei or an Ichinensei teacher, you generally don't wear that. That's usually just the teachers that that taught the San Nensei that year. And maybe the Kocho Sensei, the principal, and the Kyoto Sensei, the vice principal. Um, although the Kocho Sensei at these things, at all my schools, often took the time. I mean, I've seen, you know, they walk out in like a tux and tails. I mean, they get dressed up. Um, anyway... So I got there pretty pretty much on time. All the parents were down in sort of the waiting area with their slippers on. Um, and I went in and bowed and said hello to a few. And uh, I didn't want to go and get my slippers from the car. I was lazy. So I said, okay, well, I'll walk around. So I walked around and walked up. And they had, like, normally if you go into the gym, you have to have your indoor shoes on. So I would have had to have changed shoes. Um, but uh, they had this, like, tarpaulin, you know, this, like, tarp down on the wood gym floor so you could walk on it. Um, so I didn't have to take off my shoes because um, my feet would have been cold. It was pretty cold in the gym. They had heaters out. It wasn't as bad as it could have been. We got pretty lucky with the weather. I've had graduations in March in Japan where it's been pouring rain or even worse, it's been like snowing. <laughs> so uh, we got pretty lucky. It was about 15 or 16 degrees C and it was uh, sunny for the most part. Um, so, it was a weird graduation for me, i got to admit, and this is maybe part of the reason why I didn't make a video. I was kind of bummed out yesterday. Um, so I did that, and it finished, and then I went and had lunch and did some shopping, and then I got to my Akaiwa job, which is about an hour away from there, and um, I had to teach, like, all night, um, and I didn't leave that job until 9.30, so by the time I got home yesterday, it was already like 11 p.m., so it was a really long day. Um, so I guess the thing that bummed me out is, and, I, and I'm just going to be really honest with you guys here, um, because, you know, we're friends. You're my Argonauts. Um, there's a certain amount of ego stroking that goes on with this job. Um, if, you're, if you're assigned to a very small town, um, it's very good chance that you'll be the only foreigner in your town, um, which happened to me. And if you're, you know, at all pleasant <laughs> and personable and sociable and good at your job, people are going to like you, and they're going to know who you are, and much more than you're ever going to know who they are, because obviously you're that one foreigner, so everybody eventually finds out, oh, it's Mr. Jason, which I hate being called Mr. Jason, but that's another topic. So I'm very well known in one very small place. <laughs> And it still is. It still persists. If I go back to that area to meet up with people, to go to the mall, to um, you know, to meet someone for dinner or a movie or something up there, um, I'll often have people come up to me, um, students who are now older, 
Um, or I can see people walk by me and they'll turn and they go, oh, Jason, nah. you know, kind of under their breath. They're maybe too shy to come up to me and say anything, but they know it's me and they're telling their friend, hey, that's Jason. So you get a little bit of the rock star in, in that very, very small respect. Um, and I guess I expected my kids who, you know, I taught to at least come up and say hello or uh, be a little bit more interactive with me. And, you know, it's kind of nice to have that sometimes. Um, you know, my Daigak say my, my college students are, you know, they're a little bit more blasé. You're just a professor. You're not as involved in their everyday life as you are when you're an ALT and you take part in all the school activities and you see them a lot more and you're hanging out in their classrooms, etc., etc. But the reality is when I stopped being an ALT in 2009, the students who just graduated from junior high school, okay, were fifth graders in elementary school. So in the four years or so that it's been since then, you know, they've gone through sixth grade, you know, what we would call first grade, Chugako, first grade junior high, seventh grade in America, eighth grade, and now they're ninth graders about to become high school students. So it's been a long time, you know, and kids go through an amazing amount of change from the age of, say, 10 to 15. So the fact is, and this is kind of what bummed me out, is I really thought, you know, I kind of know these kids because I had taught them uh, from first grade to fifth grade. Um, but I looked around and I scanned faces and I'm looking for, like, and I just didn't recognize them, you know. I just, um, I just really couldn't put any, any, well, I definitely don't remember their names. I mean, that would be asking too much because... You know, I, I maybe knew their names when, when they were 4th and 5th graders, but there's no way I would remember their names now. But, you know, you kind of remember, oh, that's that kid, or, you know, oh, he went to that school, or, oh, yeah, I remember her. You know, and I took a lot of pictures of my kids, so I have a lot of pictures of them then. But obviously, like I said, they've changed a lot, and they're in different uniforms, and they have different hair, and they've grown taller, and everything else that goes with it. So... It was it was sad in a way, you know, and it's probably the last time I'll go because, uh, you know, the kids that are, you know, 8th graders now that are going to be ninth graders, um, I barely taught them my last few years because uh, when I started my fourth year as a Jet, they started having that Ego Noto, that book that they um, introduced to... Um, kind of start teaching specifically 5th and 6th graders a little bit more English on a regular basis. So what happened was, is I used to teach all the grades. You know, I would go one day and teach <clears throat> the 1st, 2nd, and 3rd graders, and then the next day at the same school and teach the 4th, 5th, and 6th graders. And what they did was they changed it and they said, Jason, really, we just want you to do the 5th and 6th graders. So my last year, year and a half, um, I really didn't see the lower grades at all. Um, so those kids really, I mean, they know who I am, and I taught them a little bit when they were really young, um, but, you know, I'm just that guy from, you know, four years ago or five years ago. So it was a little disappointing. I actually had more parents <laughs> come up and talk to me and teachers than I did students. Um, I had, you know, moms who I kind of like taught the son, and now the younger sister, you know, their their daughter was graduating, and they're like, oh my, yeah, you know, do you remember Koki? I'm like, yeah, of course I remember Koki. Oh, yeah, well, this is his sister, you know, blah, blah, blah. And so I'd be like, oh, okay. And, and I mean, you know, I would remember them a little. And um, one of the parents that ended up sitting next to me in the parent section of the gym, um, which is where I sat, um, uh, ended up being uh, a mom of a, of a junior high school student who was graduating, but also one of my former elementary school teachers that I used to teach with, um, and just this super nice lady, and so we chatted for a while, and, um, you know, the ceremony is only about an hour, um, it's very dry.